What's up guys, Mike B A K Phony, this is Indie for Breakfast. It's really quiet, so uh, we're gonna try to keep things down a little bit. God Factory is currently available on Kickstarter, you should go check it out, and Green Lights has been up there for a minute, so you might wanna go check that out too. But this video is gonna be in two different, you have two different phases. First off, we're gonna go into the hangar, I'm gonna show you guys the thousands and thousands of different things you could do to your, to your ships. Because it's exactly what this game is. It's basically X-Wing slash MOBA. And I hate using MOBA because MOBA is such a, a buzzword, right? It kills it for some people. It's, a, it's like a buzz kill. Hey, I just made a word. But you have a base, which is a floating carrier. Uh, and it has all these varying, uh, all, all these different uh, weak points. And these weak points are very, they're very visual. And killing them actually does something, which is kind of cool. I'll show you this that right here. Uh, destroying uh, certain areas will actually give you uh, a little bit of benefit. So for example, if you destroy the comm tower, uh, no alerts when your carrier parts reach 50 or 25% of the shield. So that's kind of awesome. So if I'm attacking the enemy ship and I destroy that, then they, they'll have to actually pay attention to the UI uh, instead of getting the nice little alarm thing that goes off in the middle. Yeah, there's lots of that stuff all over here. Uh, but you're gonna see all that when we actually go through and play. So the reason why this video is kind of divided up is because a couple of weeks ago, or about a week ago, uh, we all got together, the people who are playing, because it's not released, right? Uh, and we all got together, so we actually had people online, I played with a ton, a ton of devs, and that was really, really cool. Uh, and they basically just kind of showed me the ropes, uh, allowed me to get in there, and did not take it easy on me at all. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're in for, uh, quite a treat. It's very, very cool space combat X-Wing style. I think you guys will enjoy it. But let's go ahead and go to Hangar. This is, this is where... This, this is the stuff right here. So as you can see, I have the USS BIYM that uh, is not yet put together. Uh, actually, here's what happens. I don't know which side is up. I'm guessing this side is up. Or is it, hey, wait, does it stand up? I don't even know. <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh, see, we'll start building some pieces here. Uh, see, this is obviously the, the main chassis. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. That kind of looks like that dickhead from Halo. That was your friend, and then he's not your friend. I hate that guy. So we go to equip. Boom. Now he's a permanent fixture there. This thing here, what do I want for the cockpit? Actually, yeah, I definitely like that. And uh, da -da -da. spread. So here's our wings. See, we're definitely changing. Now it doesn't look anything like what it did before. Wow. So I haven't even gone through. The thing is, there's four different races, and I went through, I played with like one of the other ones. Uh, I haven't actually played with this one yet. Damn. Just a reaver, this is awesome. That, uh, let's see, thrusters. What kind of thrusters do I, now? He's, I'm going off cosmetics. I should really be going off of the actual stats. There's a, a ton of stats, and apparently, there's like thousands of different combinations. Well, there's obviously thousands of combinations of things you could do with these ships. Um, let's see if we go up, if we can afford it, right? We could get some of these better, uh, some of the uh, more, uh, more stats on your, on your item there, upgrading it. That is such a cool, I love this. That is such a cool looking ship. Uh, what's cheaper? Probably that one. Good. We'll equip that. And then, uh, I, don't, I think we're gonna run out of actual cosmetic items here. Power cores. Can I actually see this? It'd be kind of great if they're just like, ah, eh, power cores. It's not in the middle. We'll put it somewhere else. Uh, looks like it just kind of changes the, uh, nothing? Sure, nothing. Alright, so we'll go and take that. Uh, shields. Let's see. Barrier. Battery. Does not change anything. But which one is cheaper? Uh, hard to tell. I'm looking at it in terms of like power usage because that one there, 136. And their main computers, where I could get anything visual out of that. So we're just gonna keep going down whip and control units, uh, devices. Yeah, we're not a monkey. Dragonfly, a hawk. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't have a, do I have a monkey like hanging off the thing, a dragonfly. I don't understand. I understand. But uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. We're gonna we have weapons now. We have some weapons and special uh, special moves, if you want to call it that. It's, it's very much a moment that it's very simple controls. Uh, you have some special moves you could do. Uh, I would show you the uh, tutorial, but I feel like that's wasting time of actual gameplay time. I'm going to show you all this stuff first. Uh, let's go ahead and actually delete this ship. Yes. And then was removed. Good. We're going to create another ship. Uh, actually, you no, know, we'll take this one here because this is actually what I was going to show you. So this guy is kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and I'll show you the varying different body types. Okay. Oh. Will you unselect that one? Uh, I don't think I actually saved it, but we'll keep going. Just want to cycle through some of these. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, fiery Wind. And then, uh, Negative Blast. So, so, so good. I just love this level of customization. Uh, a game I did a while back called Gimbal, G-I-M-B-A-L. 
Can I tell you this? Uh, I, that game had some really, really good uh, ship customization. And it was like a twin stick shooter, right? It's nothing like this at all. But the, the amount of stuff you could do was just amazing. More so than this, of course. But it was a very simple game. But still, though, the amount of things you could do in terms of customization here is really good. Wow, look at this thing. What is this? It was like a Statue of Liberty just chopped your head off and now it's got a thing. That's awesome. Damn. And I love the stag helm. That is freaking beautiful. It really is good looking. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, what's part overview? Oh, cool. Just kind of shows you everything. Yep, I didn't choose any of that stuff. Yin and Yang. I'm not sure what that does, but we're going to move on here. Uh, and I can actually show you, I believe, some of the other ships in my collection. Default human, which is, uh, that's not what we were just doing, was it? I believe that is, uh, no, no, it is actually totally different. Is there a random button here that I'm missing? I would love to just randomly cycle through this so you guys can see them. And then we'll go to default, uh, that's, oh, yeah, wow. Very stylish. So different, too. Like, it looks nothing like each race, actually, besides the fact that, they, you know, they're metal looking, right? Uh, look nothing like each other. The characteristics are very, very distinct. So while you're flying about, out in space fighting these guys, you're going to know what it is that they have. So you're going to have a rough idea of what kind of abilities they have. Because these abilities, which you'll, you'll see a good handful of them here when, uh, when we get going. Um, they do some pretty cool shit. They really do. Uh, there's a shop here, but it's not yet fully implemented. We don't really have... I, I asked them about it and they said, oh, we don't really have it all in just yet. Um, but as you can see, there are upgrades and everything you can purchase for your, uh, for your ship as you, as you progress. Uh, let's see, do I have any, anything I can show you guys here just by cycling through it? No, I don't think so. Um, incubator. Yeah, this is just like an item of some sort. Or actually not item. It's just a bonus to shield. Save your shield. This is just a entire, yeah, a ship of some sort. Let's go and see what else they have. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just kind of scrolling through all the different like body styles, ship styles you could take and customize. And that's, yeah, wow. And then we get into other, other things here. Basically a gigantic skill tree. Insane. Ah, going back here to the match list, which is where, actually, that's where you guys are going to go. Uh, with the old me. So make sure you guys say hi to him for me. Uh, going, there's nothing in here, in case you were wondering. No options or anything just yet. Uh, quarters. Obviously, there's a lot of things that are not quite built. But all this stuff will happen. Just be sure to check out the Kickstarter. And uh, that's it. Go and enjoy the old me new me signing out all right here we have a pretty good uh we have, we have a pretty good setup uh this is the lobby and from here i could go through and i could change my ships to the ones i want uh right now as of this, this is recording i have not actually built a new ship uh, you click a drop down you can choose which one you want there uh but this should be interesting uh they got a couple devs on we got uh, i believe somebody else who i guess not a dev but this is going hopefully this actually works out in my favor because i went 1v1 last time with a dev and that did not go so good. <laughs> he, shocker, he's actually good at this game. So I'm going to go ahead and choose. Uh, oh, did I choose? This is like the, the tutorial one, I think so. I think uh, it's very close to it. I want to bet it is. Let's see, what's the slow machine gun, homing projectile, four decoy. Yeah, it's basically the same one. Um, yeah, the same two, actually. Uh, I should have chosen some other ones. It's all good. It's all good. Let's see. He's my wingman here. There's other guys around my team. But I think this is good. Let's go and start off with, uh, we'll go with this because I'm very much used to that one. And here we go. So everyone's pulling out. And this is where you're going to have to really, really, really take advantage of your, of all the skills that you learned in the tutorial. I wonder if he's going into the, uh, there are a couple of entrances. Just a couple of, like, you can actually, actually get inside of the hull to do work. Uh, here we go. He's just out of range there. Just get a little bit closer. Uh, turn around. I may not be the only one going after him. Nope, I'm not. Okay, good. Uh, try not to bump into anything. Let's see if we just do a quick. There, uh, nothing. Damn. Lost him. By the way, take a, take a look at the ships. The ships are awesome. It's like Mega Maid. Let's go ahead and go to the other side here, see if we can't do any work to the enemy carrier. Well, I'm not being targeted. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. They all they all occupied so quickly. Uh, let's see. We have a couple of of uh, turrets here we want to take out first. Oops, lower that a little bit. Wrong reticule. 
And I believe I'm also being, oh. Let's go throw the decoy out. And see if we can't get away here. Perfect. And we'll actually go ahead and... I just use my, my energy shield. Oh god, he's like right behind me. Isn't he? Oh no, no. I have lots of problems right now. <laughs> yeah, there was someone behind me. There he is. Okay, go, 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 go. Decoy it out. Stay really close to the ship. <laughs> Let's see if I can't get away here. I really miss the fact that there's, uh, it's unfortunate there's no ship sounds in right now. But still. Let's go ahead and dock really quick. I need to swap out to something else. Uh, I've tried before to, to kind of just full <laughs> warp nine my way into the, uh, the carrier and that did, that did not work out. Uh, you can do it. I've done it, but you, it's just, it's... It's definitely a hit and miss. We'll, we'll just say that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if we can do some more work to the enemy ship, even though we're not, we've not really done a lot to it at all. Uh, well, what should normally happen is uh, to you basically get your, your buddies together and you want to come over and actually do an organized take on these things. Oh, they're flying in. You know what? They're going to come out and they're going to go left. Let me just go straight up over here. Oh, take out some of these turrets. This might take multiple trips, primarily because I am... I will run out of ammo before I do... Oh, there we go. Okay, and let's just get out. The ship design is sick. I mean, the, the different... You know, you have your standard ones, your standard, like, you know, ship-looking ships, and then I have, like, this flying... Uh... Just being like a statuette of sorts. It's almost like a it's like a like a Gundam wing or something. <laughs> oh, I am I'm in trouble. And then we'll use that burst. I guess that throws a shield on me and it gets me the hell out, which is exactly what I need right now. And I need to get Good. Good, 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 good. Focus on the cannon, he says. Okay, so I should follow that. I should do what that guy says. Focus on the cannon. Which I figured that would kind of make sense. The unfortunate thing was, you know, there's so many, so many guys defending it. Okay, there's the cannon. I already came through and I tried to destroy some of the... Some of the d things defending the cannon. Decoy out. Just we gotta add. Trying to get. Ah, decoys out again. Okay, let's go get some room. Let's get some room. Let's get some room. Let's get some room. Let's get some room. And just turn around real quick. Cannon's about ready to fire. It's kind of nice how it actually moves out like that. And cannon is going down, going down. It's got like virtually no health. And I've got virtually no ammo. So let's go ahead and get the hell out. Get back to dock. That thing's gonna that thing's gonna go out in a second. Much, much more exciting than the 1v1 that I was having earlier. I'm very happy that I'm not showing you that footage. <laughs> Especially because I was still still a bit green on terms of, in terms of how to use the uh, all the various things that you could do with these things. Okay, I don't want to waste all my boost. Let's go ahead and wait a second. That thing's right there. Uh oh. They're going to protect shit out of it. Let's do this. Let's get close. Oh. 
There we go. There it is. Done. It's a shield burst, I'm betting. I still have plenty of ammo, so I'm actually going to go all the way down around. See if I can't come around the other side and do some work on that side. I'm guessing he's probably going to... Uh oh, they're getting all our stuff. The force field generator, which is actually inside the ship. I'm not trying to try to get in there, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'm guessing it's going to be in the butt. Uh... Uh, uh. In the butt end of the ship here, I guess the aft. Yes, I see an opening. Yep, that's it. Let's get past these guns. Whoa! Woo! Whoa! Ouch, okay, that one hurt. Oh, I have some some work to do on these guys at least. Now remember, you don't have to actually aim at them when you're locked on, like that. I can, I can aim to the side, it'll still, it'll still go right towards them. Okay. Uh oh, who's shooting at me? Is that the other turret or is that another guy? Drift a little bit. There we go. So double tap in space. Get him out of that. And holding it for a second on that second tap will allow you to kind of drift back for just a little bit. Get him out of ammo on that. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll let this thing charge up while we drift out. Then we'll be able to burst our way all the way to the other side. Okay, fast. And... This will get us there quickly. Maybe we'll turn around, come right back with a... Uh, actually, we'll bring this ship again. Well, no, no, it's running kind of low on. The shields. And look at that. Perfect. Whoa! Almost, almost not perfect. Load up here, swap out to this guy, and go right on back. I'm gonna take it nice and wide here. Yeah. Nobody's calling where where to focus on next. So whoa 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 whoa! I messed up. There you go. I want to make sure we get lock on everything here. There we go. Focus the hull. Oh man, I got the field gen so low. I have a supply ammo ability. We use that. Actually, kind of makes this guy a little bit, uh, a little bit useful there. Yeah, that's it. See, how do I type? Thank God that's not all. <laughs> Although I don't think the slash all is actually in the uh, in the game just yet. Okay, let's get back. Throw a decoy. That's my decoy leaving me right there. This guy's also out of ammo. <laughs> Ramming speed! I actually don't know if that would work. Well, I don't know if that'll work in my favor. How's that? Okay, this thing, this seems to be the best choice. Uh, let's see. 
I like how I'm just disregarding orders from from a dev. <laughs> Focus on this. It's like no, but the sh but shield generator is almost down. <laughs> Are they not protecting it? No, they're not. Oh, God, it's almost back up, too. Yeah, I might be able to do this long enough to... And just keep on regenning. Maybe attacking the hull is the better option. Anyways, I was gonna say, uh. Oh, damn. I might be able to do this and keep resupplying long enough to take it out. Oh shit, he's in here. Ammo resupply. I'm already out of ammo. I mean, basically, I'm almost out of ammo. Yeah. Damn. Ugh. Oh, no. Don't go into hyperspace mode just yet. Ludicrous speed, go! <laughs> we made it out. You know, again, even though I missed the, uh, the sounds of the ship, the silence in space is quite serene. I'm not gonna lie. Now I can regen my ammo. Alright, let's uh, let's focus. Now that they're actually all down there, let's go ahead and focus on what they want me to focus on, which in turn, I guess is the hull. We'll do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch yourself. Oh, you said defend the hull. Crap, alright. Victory! Oh, hey, we won anyways! Yeah! They let, they let us win. They clearly let us win. <laughs> Go us. Yeah. All right, here we go for another for another run. Uh, just because, you know, you guys need to see as much as possible, right? So, I picked two different ships. I've actually run with these two in the first, uh, in my first run, uh, when I had the 1v1. And they're uh, very, again, they're very different from, uh, and, and these are default ships, mind you. Uh, but they are definitely different from the last two that I used. Uh, let's see. I don't know what the Jaguar skill does, though. In terms of like, I guess like speed and also handling. I think the other one has this super super high, uh, high mobility uh, skill, and I believe I think it's actually called mobility or switch mobility or something like that. It makes it crazy for doing dogfights. All right, so let's see. I guess we want to take out the cannon first. Let me go and take out these things. So we can do. Oh god, I'm already get, I'm already getting flamed. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. I just, I just fucking shot myself right to a goddamn thing. <laughs> What's Jaguar do? We're gonna find out in a second. Let's do it right now. Oh, yeah, that was interesting. It does nothing. That's <laughs> what the name suggests. <laughs> nothing related to that whatsoever. Focus the cannon. All right, yes, that's exactly what I was gonna be going for. Yeah, this thing's this thing's non uh, turbo movement speed or hyperdrive movement speed is is definitely a much slower than the others. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna jump on this guy here. This is the one I believe with switch mobility. Yes, yeah, so mobility switch is what it's called. Supply uh, supply shield seems to be pretty. Uh, supply ammo, supply shield seems to be pretty common amongst these in terms of the default build. I could go through and kind of customize them, but that's probably gonna come at a later date. So we do want to focus on getting shot due to the flamethrower. Do damn damage from this. Uh, yes, I am. This is good. Oh, I'm not. I'm not holding down the space on the second go. So hold it down, then you can drift a little bit longer to maintain that distance. Very important. And double tap. Cannon's getting ready to fire, so it's gonna move into position here. And I'm taking a bit of a beating, but it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Just keep it going, keep it going, okay. And... Oh, 
cool switchable ability. Yeah, allows me that extra, extra agility there. Gets me the hell out. Woo! That was close. Oh shit! No! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Damn it! I was so close to getting it. He followed me all the way over. Here I thought that he would have broke off. Okay, now, now the problem that I'm faced with now, unfortunately, is that I only have um, one ship. So, uh, because of that, I have to, uh, well, <sighs> I have to wait for it to charge. <laughs> And get up a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Come on, go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's get back on that cannon. Very important, very, very important. I still don't understand. I, I realize Jaguar is a sort of teleportation uh, ability. I just don't know to what extent am I dealing with here. Let's get him out of here. Oh, it teleports me ahead. Still, however, still does a pretty fine job of uh, keeping me hidden. <laughs> Let's go to get the hell out of here. Woo! I'm about to lose both my ships. And I'll get stuck with a, a really crappy droid ship. It's so bad. It's all right. I think I'm going a little too balls out for this. Let's see if I can't stay away or make it back to my deck. I just want to note that in most most press demos or whatever you want to say, uh, you end up getting basically. Wow, I had like no shields. Uh, they they baby you a little bit, you know. They don't they don't really want you to to get frustrated because you're getting your ass kicked, right? Uh, that that doesn't happen here. <laughs> Too many times have I, uh, well. Uh, have I have I gotten my ass kicked by by these guys? They don't give a damn. I need to get the shield up. That's very unfortunate. Uh, now there are ways uh, from what I what I've read according to uh, some of the different upgrades you could get that there are ways that you can actually uh, upgrade your your shield regen rate. I'm not entirely trying to do that yet, not as of this recording. However, in the videos I wrap this with, uh, we may actually see a bit of uh, a bit more. In terms of uh, details on building ships. So here we go. Now it's, it's picking up, it's picking up, it's picking up. Slow down. Oh no, okay. It's, I think it's just the numbers. It looks like it's going faster and it's reality. It's just the numbers are changing at which rate they, uh, they display. Oh crap. Their cannons got, the cannons got to be close. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was it? What button I hit? Uh, alt. Oh, the cannon's done. Awesome. I was going to work on a hole next. Our deck's about to go. I don't know what happens when the deck is gone. I believe the entrance to uh, this thing is right here, right? So I wonder if that has something to do with it. Oh crap. I'm gonna have to go out there and just do some work with what I have. Uh, I think like he's going back for more. Oh, they all are. Whoa! Ah, shit. Uh, okay, so they destroyed our, our deck. I don't know exactly what that would mean in the, in the end. Uh, in terms of how it affects... There's a drop-down, actually, that tells you during in the, in the uh, lobby area, so... We'll probably go over that in just a minute. I know that certain things, like for example, you destroy the comp tower. Those little warnings you get that says, "Oh, such and such is below X amount of percent, seventy-five percent, whatever." That actually goes away if you destroy the comp tower. So that's kind of handy because then you could kind of stealthily go in and do some work if you need to. This guy's going into the generator. Oh, here's where you got him. Perfect. That reverse. Doing okay on weapons and such, or ammo and everything. Okay, we have a couple guys coming in here. This guy. Uh, 
Let's see catch us he was going for. Use my Jaguar ability. Uh, that doesn't seem to go at me too far ahead. Oh, bump. Damn, 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 damn. Straight up bumped into, <laughs> bumped into an asteroid. I don't believe I moved it at all, actually. And let's go ahead and go back. Get more ammo, get more everything. This dock station. And I guess this is the part where we'll, we'll see if uh, what they did to the hull actually has an effect on... Oh. Oh, how quickly things get done. Okay, no, 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 we're still both here. Or to the deck, rather. I'm gonna go for the repair station next. Oh, man. I, maybe I should... I don't know, should I get out there and fight? Or should I just get as many shields as I can right now? Huh. I'm just milking it. I'm milking it. It's slowed down. Let's see what this look like. All's about done there. We're actually still in the lead because we took out their cannon. So we are actually in the lead. So it looks like we might we might win this one again. Thanks in part, you know, obviously to my my contributions. <laughs> So destroying the cannon, really, just if you notice the time, they have 3 minutes, 28 seconds, or we have 2 minutes, 28 seconds. It just, I think it just uh, slows down the rate at which they fire. Uh, take out the shield. Obviously, well, it, would, it would help. Uh, it was what I said, shield generator, or regen, which we saw in the last match. And that will prevent things from basically repairing. And then, uh, I don't know if it will affect the regen here. I think this regen is only affected by the... Uh, uh, the ship's actual build, not necessarily what we have here. So they're, they're about to take that out. I like watching from here, it's all like, oh, I get to see everything. So that's about to go out. And... Cool, that's one more point off. Now let's get in there. And this is the part where we'll go balls out. On something, I'm not quite sure yet. We will find a bad guy. Ah, Rocket Swell, this is the guy was... I owe you, buddy. I freaking owe you. Oh, too far away from him. Mm. This is the guy I was dog fighting with earlier. Oh, uh, I want to keep. Okay, I'll take this guy instead. There he is. That is decoy. Ah, oh, damn, that was DK, wasn't it? Damn it! Where'd he go? I see him popping up. That's somebody else. Decoy we just destroyed? Probably. Let's go dock, get some more ammo. I'm about ready to run out. And that's it! We actually won! Nice! Uh! Woo! So it looks like I didn't kill anybody directly, but I did contribute quite a bit, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully uh new me uh, has managed to go ahead and tell you guys to go and check out the Kickstarter, which launches the day that this video is put out, so you definitely want to go and check that out. And that's it. The game is called God Factory Wingman 4v4. Pretty awesome stuff. Any for breakfast, guys. I'll see you later.